Hello and welcome to today's video. So on the workbench today, we still have the Evnetics Soliton Jr. And it's now working. We had a uh, very, very simple mistake. Uh, opened it up and started looking around the uh, contact area. Uh, if you want, you can pause this and go back and look at one of the other videos and see if you can figure it out. But uh, if not, I can I can show you it, it it's pretty obvious when you know what you're looking for so this is how I had it plugged in before and this is how it's plugged in now no, notice a difference so we've got black and red on the left side instead of red and black on the right side yeah so uh, I had the contactor plugged into the wrong terminals not only were they the wrong terminals but I had it flipped so I actually had the uh, black wire going to the MC2 terminal and the red wire going to uh, the negative terminal. Uh, the contactor that's in here is, uh, I can kind of see it down in there. I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, it's a GV200M, I believe. And uh, that has built in suppression. Uh, uh, coil suppression, which apparently is just a diode in series with it, and that's why it wasn't turning on. <laughs> so, now that the contactor's in the correct way, my mistake, we can uh, go ahead, I've got everything hooked up, so we'll flip this on. I heard the nice big click from the contactor, we got a green light, and I can give it some uh, throttle here. Go the right way. So I can get it on the hairy edge to where we PWM on the, uh, essentially the noise on the A to D converter, if I can find it. There you go. <laughs> so, it's working now. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a pretty simple mistake. Um, but yeah, that's that's good. Uh, it's all it's all working now. Uh, IGBT replaced, fixed that, and our um, undervolt problem was because the contactor was not plugged in properly. So should be good to go. If we go back to the original pictures, you'll you'll see that it was plugged in properly. If you go back, uh, if I could do it, uh, I gotta zoom out. Um, nope, the wrong way. So if we go like that, and look at when we first opened it, <clears throat> it's really hard to do. So if we scroll through, I always take a bunch of pictures. So there's the wires going up to the top there, but I think it's off the page. So I have to wait until we get, uh... there you go. See that? That's how it originally came. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, user error. So, uh, next thing to do is to clean off all the silicone gasket material that's on here and then uh, reseal it, uh, put the cover plate on, and then uh, we're good to go. Uh, should be ready to ship. Thanks for watching. Bye.